in the mesh tool. So here we are in ARCHICAD. And we've already, this is a basic exercise. This is a flat mesh. I can select it. You can see that it is a mesh. You can see the little floating box telling me that it's selected. This is actually why we're doing this on the Mac, is because you can now see those floating info boxes. And there's so, it just makes showing you the software so much easier. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select that mesh and just delete it right out. Actually, I'll go ahead and pick up its settings first. And so this is the mesh tool over here on the design section. And a mesh is created in the same way a slab would be or a roof, but it's really similar to a slab. So there are three different geometry methodologies we can use. We can draw a free form shape. And when we do that, you can see very quickly that I have a, a, a mesh. Now, what I've created so far is really just a surface. So, but creating a mesh is really easy. We just draw it. We have a top elevation and a bottom elevation to that mesh. Let's go ahead and put some thickness to it. So I'll make it five feet thick. So let's just double check that because I can't remember whether it's inches or feet. Okay, good. So it's five feet thick. And I'll draw the, draw a similar shape. And so now when I look at this in 3D, you can see there's that five foot thickness. So it's not just a surface, it's actually a solid. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. So creating a mesh from scratch is just like creating a slab. The difference between a mesh and a slab again is the fact that we can change the Z, Z values of any point on this mesh. So I select that mesh. You can see control points. I'll click on one of the points and we still get the pet palette like we would with any other tool. So we can move a node we can fill it in edge, just make a four foot fillet there. We can offset the entire thing. Add on to it or subtract from it. So just like any other polygon, we can edit it uh, to make any shape. And when I do that, we'll see as I make changes, they were reflected here. But there is another choice on the pet palette, which is elevate mesh point. So I'll choose that, and I'll give that one point an elevation of three feet. And you can see that this, we now have a thicker surface there. And by playing with the control points, as I go around and make each point different values, see that we're actually doing some interesting things to the shape of this mesh. So something we need to think about is how does this work? How does this mesh work when we're saying five feet or three feet? What is the five foot thickness? What we're actually doing, 
when we look at a mesh, let's go back to our agenda just 